These are lorries operated by a mining company in Nasarawa State, leaving the site fully loaded with substances suspected to be lithium. They are being transported to places where other aspects of production are carried out before it is ready for export. The fact that the movement is taking place at night raises questions about the legality of their operations. The community is accusing the company of illegally operating on the land without approval. Sani Adagbaoku is an indigent of the community. He says he is the owner of the property on which the mining activities are being carried out. He is also brandishing this document, originating from a high court in Nasarawa State, indicating an interim injunction restraining the Chinese company from trespassing or carrying out any activity whatsoever on the disputed land. However, this has not stopped the Chinese company from going ahead with its mining on the over 50 hectares of land. The community also accuses the security operatives of providing cover for the illegal operation. The arrival of a TV crew at the location is met with stiff resistance by the security team of the mining company. They overpower the policemen providing cover for journalists who have come to investigate the claim and counterclaims being made over the land. There were also attempts to harass journalists and stop them from fuming, thus necessitating the discreet recording. Sania Dagba explains that the company claims to have bought the land from some unverified persons posing as family members. So from the beginning, the information we got is that uh, it's another person from this our community that went to sell the land to them, which the land does not belong to that family. So later on, after the investigation, investigation, they discover that the land belonged to us. So from then, they started to approach us to uh, you know, uh, sit with them and uh, write agreement with them, but which we say no. Because when they came, they say if we like whether we like or not, they will walk. And since they came in there, they, they were walking there. So and we even take the issue to the court. The court stopped them from walking, but then they refused to stop. And we, we don't want uh, any violence. Since they, uh, we take the matter to court, we have also our lawyers do everything. Reflecting on the activities of regulatory agencies who should exercise control over the company's operations, the community say they suspect foul play. They also accuse the traditional rulers of colluding with the miners. So what we technically wanted them to do is to vacate that place. These are foreigners who come to our land without, without consent, without a proper license. They are being guided by soldiers, guided by uh, DSS. With all the insecurity happening in this country, they're absolutely doing an illegal um, job there, as far as I'm concerned. Because if it is legal, that would be a situation where you have a legal license, you have a legal consent from the community. You don't have legal license, you don't have legal consent. Even if you purported to have a consent, that consent was defective. The rules for getting any consent, you, sorry, any license, you must have the consent of the community. You have interviewed the community. Do they have the consent? They resorted to even adopting this Baba, taking him and forcing him and backdate, what, uh, what do you call it, a lease agreement, and force him to sign. So they were discussing, and uh, the Osa Jire asked him to sign another uh, uh, paper. And you know Baba cannot read. He don't know what that paper means. So Baba said, no, he cannot sign. What this paper for? So the, according to Osa Jire, I explained to him, but he said no. The Osajri insisted that he is the king and whatever he said, that's what works. So how can he say he cannot sign? So he wants to disobey the king in the palace. He now say, okay, if he will sign, let them call his lawyer. But his lawyer was not close and his lawyer said he should not sign. But because of the pressure, they were pressuring him to sign. And he don't know it was consent letter that they are forcing him to sign. He says it's nothing. With activities still ongoing despite a subsisting court order, the community is apprehensive events might snowball into a violent crisis. According to security experts, several violent conflicts in many parts of the country, especially in the northeast, can be attributed to the activities of illegal miners. This is one situation the community and government of Nasarawa State will want to avoid. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News.